What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we got the next one off of a painter's canvas by Just Trey. This one's called Never Had. This is a music video as well. I love his music videos. I always love when we get a song with the music videos in it. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, music, videos. I love talking about the topics that these artists put into their songs. We get into a lot of deep conversation. A lot of personal experiences that I share with you guys when I can relate to what these artists are saying in their songs. I've been through mental health and addiction struggles in my life, so I like to apply my own experience to inspire others to also work on those issues and pull themselves out of it whenever they're dealing with those things in life. I've been through it. I know what it's like to have to pull yourself out of it and rebuild for yourself. It's a difficult process, but I promise you, you can get through it. We have awesome artists like Just Trey that tell their story of their own struggle that can inspire people to also make it through theirs and to feel less alone inside of theirs. And it's a blessing to have artists like this in the world, especially with how the industry is so fake and plastic nowadays. It's awesome to have artists like Just Trey, like Up Church, the list goes on, right? So Creek Squad. Thank you guys for being here. You've been here since the start of the channel. Y'all introduced, introduced me to Up Church, and I dove into his catalog. He quickly became my favorite artist, my favorite independent artist specifically, and it really put into perspective the ways that you can achieve things without help of the industry and just by being yourself, staying yourself, telling your story, finding the people that resonate with that and building an awesome community with them. That's what I view Creek Squad as and you guys have blessed my life and more ways than one it's been so amazing to hang out with you guys here and to see all of the artists that up church has inspired and to see them all work together and do their own thing and just fucking tell their stories and keep it raw and keep it real and not have to put out this fake plastic shit that the industry puts out it's really awesome to see artists that are just keeping it real and telling their story that's my favorite thing about what happens in this realm of music so thank you guys dearly for introducing me to it and for welcoming me in to what y'all have going on it means the world to me so we're gonna get into this the next song off of a painter's canvas by just trey on vacasa Kabe. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Never Had by Just Trey. Mm. Okay. Never had a dollar. Never had a wallet. Never had a helping hand to feed pocket deposits. That's food. Okay, he's going to tell you all of the things that he never had. <laughs> he starts out with, I never had a dollar, I never had a wallet. Wow. Yeah, he's going to tell you what he never had before he started getting himself to where he is now. I like that. This beat is cool. I like how the beat's kind of laid back. It's got a real, real bassy kind of pop to the snare on it as well. It's a different style of beat. I like that every beat's been different so far. Never had a dollar, never had a wallet, never had a helping hand to feed pocket deposits. That's food for thought. Don't have room to rock. That's malicious intent to rob me blind from my trade of thoughts. Wow, don't rob me blind from my train of thoughts. He said, holy crap. He said, don't. Don't rob me blind from my train of thoughts. He said, don't try to take my train of thoughts away. Wow. He's just telling you the things he never had in his life that made him want to strive to become what he is turning himself into with his music career. 
right? And it's been a hell of a journey for Jess Trey over the years. You know, I found him whenever that Dear Up Church song came out, and I was very impressed. And I dove into his catalog behind that, and I was like, holy crap, this kid can really rap his ass off. And then he put out everything that he has in the last, like, year and a half or so, and I'm just blown away by the level of creativity and uh, he never runs out of things to say he never runs out of important story to tell important lessons to put in his music that can inspire people it's fantastic man this passion fuck a higher rep with the cast and there's a casket waiting for you to money grab what you grab and take your money wow he's saying fuck the higher ups there's a casket waiting for you to money grab Ooh. Saying if you take the money grab that they're trying to fucking give you in the industry, there's just a casket waiting for you. <laughs> and it, see, you could take that a couple different ways. The way I see it is somebody who's seen a lot of what goes on in the industry and really studied it as an artist just to know what goes on around me and what these fucking people in the industry do. What the suits and ties and the big wigs want <laughs> is they want you as disposable as possible because especially if you're dead, there's more money in that. People blow up after they die. It happens to so many artists. Their catalog will get so much more attention and garner so much more money into the pockets of the people that were managing them, but they're no longer there to even see what they've done and how they've affected people, but everybody else in the industry can line their fucking pockets with that money and still re-release their older songs, you know, still put out their merch and all of it, and they're still making money off of that. That's what he's talking about right there in that. Wow. I live for this passion, fuck a higher rep with the class And there's a casket waiting for you to money Grab what you grab and take your money Then pay the funeral, roll them out that they asking I'm drilling, trashing, no money earning They turn into ashes just when you get and go <sighs> That is what he's talking about He just went deeper into it Man, he started going into deeper detail right there If y'all hear talking in the background My fam's out there playing with the dogs So <laughs> don't worry about that They're out there playing with the dogs I live for this passion, fuck a higher rep with the class And there's a casket waiting for you to money Grab what you grab and take your money Then pay the funeral, roll them out that they asking I'm drilling, trashing, no money earning They turn into ashes just when you get and gone I call it paid in loans Cause you can't bring it all with you when you laying down in the bed of <sighs> Jesus Ah, he said, that's what I call paid in loans. He said, because you can't take those loans with you when you're dead and gone. You got to pay them all back, too. We talk about that on here all the time, how these artists get these advances. They look like they're rich. They look like they're shining. They look like they got all this fancy clothing, all these fancy accessories, nice cars. They got the Lambo. They got the Ferrari. They got the Bentley. They got the Hellcat, whatever you want to call it right? <laughs> the Bugatti, whatever it is that you want to fucking call it that they have. All of that is fucking bought with money that has to be paid back and it's meant to build their image so that they look fucking cool while the record label makes them broke and it tricks the viewer. It's it's smoke and mirrors, man. It's a smoke and mirrors trick of the industry. The oldest one in the book is to make somebody with nothing look rich so everybody can appeal to them, right? So that they have that appeal that everybody can grab a hold of. It's not good, bro. It's not good when somebody else owns you like that. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Just try get me thinking whenever it comes to stuff like this, bro. Just when you get and gone, I call it paid and loans. Cause you can't bring it all with you when you laying down in the bed of rose. These lines of rose, family weeps and moans. Same place I pray for forgiveness. I lay my pew for these guys on her door. I believe. Sheesh. <sighs> this kid is deep, man. 
He thinks a lot, and I like that. When you get and gone, I call it paid and loans. Cause you can't bring it all with you when you laying down in the bed of rose. These lines of rose, family weeps and moans. Same place I pray for forgiveness. I lay my pew for these guys on her door. I believe in Same place I pray for forgiveness. <laughs> I lay my <laughs> Oh my god. He says the same place that he prays for forgiveness is the same place that he prepares his pew. <laughs> For these other guys. <sighs> That's duality right there. He's saying, yeah, I have faith and I'm one with the Lord and I be praying, but you can still fucking get it too. Try me. That's what he's saying there. He's saying, I am just a man. You can still get it too. <laughs> I love this kid, man. In the bed of rose, these lines of rose. Family weeps and moans. Same place I pray for forgiveness. I lay my pew for these guys on her door. I believe in God, but don't believe to bow ahead these other guys that walk the lines and think that they can be head the way I hold my head. <sighs> he said, I believe in God. Oh my God. <sighs> wow. <sighs> mm. I love it. Hold on. You fool these guys on earth. I believe in God, but don't believe to bow ahead these other guys that walk the lines and think that I believe in God, but don't believe to bow ahead to these other guys. Man, which you fucking tell them, bro. They can be head the way I hold my head up high, but they can try the way I struggle day and night to get the life I always wanted. Now they start to recognize, and I'm an animal. He's saying, okay, he's saying, now I'm going to get the life that I always wanted, and they have no choice but to start to recognize he said that I'm an animal. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got that fucking, like, Wolverine <laughs> kind of aggressiveness, right? <laughs> like running into a fucking Wolverine in the wild. You do not want that. You do not want that. <laughs> Them little shits are fucking mean. You ever seen videos of them? Fuck that, bro. If I ever saw one of those, I'm going. I hope I'm going the other direction. <laughs> Behead the way I hold my head up high, but they can try the way I struggle day and night to get the life I always wanted. Now they start to recognize, and I'm an yeah. animal. Don't call controlling me. The underdog is a ruthless beast. Now I'm off the leash. No money. Don't call control on me. The underdog is a ruthless beast, and now I'm off the leash. Love the tie into the control with the animal. Animal, don't call control on me. Mm hmm. I like that. Me changing me the way I like to eat. I like to hunt and gather food, bring it back to my family. Wow, he said that ain't even gonna change the way I eat. He said, I like to hunt and gather my food and bring it to my family. <laughs> This guy is fucking wild, bro. He's wild. I love it. So the raw honesty and just the realness to, like, his values that he holds. You gotta fucking love it, bro. This beast, now I'm off the leash. No money changing me. The way I like to eat. I like to hunt and gather food. Like bring it back to mug. my family. Dude, I'm used to starving. Let them marinate. Little soda and pepper did what we needed for a bit of taste. Bigger to let it marinate, a little salt and pepper, or what was needed for the bitter taste. He's saying the bitter taste of everything he's been through and had to overcome. He said, I'm going to salt and pepper it up and put it on this track and make something glorious out of it that's artistic. And I'm going to get my bag and help everybody out while doing it. This kid is next level, bro. We aren't even, ha like, close to halfway through this album. And, you know, it's going to get more intense and deep as it goes on. The more songs that you write, the more deeply you'll get into topics because you'll run out of surface-level things to say, especially on a 20-track long album. You're going to get deep into some fucking nitty-gritty shit, right? Whenever it comes to... I mean, it's going to turn into just gritty, right? <laughs> you're going to get rid of the nitty and you're going to have just gritty <laughs> by, the, by the time you get through 20 songs like this. 
<laughs> That's why I love albums like this. I'm really glad that we're doing this whole thing. I love this song. This is one of my favorites so far. Bring it back to my family. Dog, I'm used to starving. Let them marinate. Little salt and some pepper did what we needed for a bit of taste. Bigger yeah. plate, but never pocket Bigger watch plate. it. I'm always thinking never what I'm writing in these songs. Bigger plate, but never pocket watch, and I'm always living what I'm writing in these songs. You fucking tell them, Bubba. You fucking tell them. Little salt and some pepper did what we needed for a bit of taste. Bigger plate, but never pocket watch it. I'm always living what I'm writing in these songs, cause I always. Never had a dollar, never had a wallet, never had a helping hand to. I'm always living what I'm writing in these songs, cause. <laughs> wow. Because I always never had a dollar right back into that chorus section. Great lead in to go back into the hook section there. I like this. I love what he's talking about in this song. I'm always living what I'm writing in these songs because I always. Never had a dollar. Never had a wallet. Never had a helping hand to feed pocket deposits. That's food for thought. Don't have yeah. one to that's malicious intent, don't rob me blind from my train of thoughts Always live the life I wanted, never descend the cash for thoughts You just fed the dog under the table, at least you thought Funny cause I'm laughing, wow. now your feet don't have room to walk Money grows on trees, right? Yes, I got the deep, can never walk in my boot <sighs> Money grows on trees, right? I guess I got the deep remark He said you're just feeding the dogs under the table Ooh, boy, man that's another smoke and mirrors kind of bar right there about how the industry has a lot of fakeness inside of it, but he's kept it consistently by telling his story and keeping it real to what he experiences in his life. He's saying, I don't have to worry about that shit whenever it comes to myself because I'm the underdog and I'm the one that you've been feeding. It's almost like, yeah. He's the underdog, the dog under the table. You're feeding the dog under the table. I'm the underdog. See how it ties together. Very, very creative right there. Saying you've been feeding me the fuel to do what I do, right? Feet don't have room to walk. Money grows on trees, right? Guess I got the deep. Can never walk in my yeah. boots. Can never walk in my pain. Can never spill out my bucket. Can never brush out my paint. What temperature nice. I was rise as I bring my canvas to hand. Remember, food for thought and money ain't the same as growing pain. Never had a dog. Remember, food for thought and money ain't the same as growing pain. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. See, he's the one that goes through the growing pain, right? And you have to go through growing pain to get to these places of success with yourself. No level of success is going to be without tumultuous situations, pain, stressful moments, questioning everything you do, wanting to make the best possible moves to stay authentic to yourself and what you want to do and not let other people and outside factors change what it is that you're doing, staying genuine and authentic to your purpose. That's what he's talking about here. This kid's real as fuck, man. What else can you say about it? Just Trey is a real one. I love that he tells his story the way he does. It's really inspirational for people. A lot of people need to hear stuff like this. I look, never had a wallet. Never had a helping hand to feed pocket deposits. That's food for thought. Don't have room to rot. That's malicious intent. Don't rob me blind for my traded thoughts. Nice. Fucking awesome. I like the video how it's on that backwoods kind of fucking bridge there. I love bridges like that. That's some great scenery for a music video right there. That was fantastic too. That remix right there was awesome. I really liked that one. Fucking awesome right here. This is a really, really awesome song. I enjoyed this one a whole, whole lot. Very fucking incredible song right here. Just Trey did his thing really deep. I'm excited for the rest of this album. There's so much storytelling and so much inspiration in the way he writes his music. I love how authentic his storytelling is. Very, very awesome. The original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Just Trey. Support the artists we have on the channel. 
Creek Squad, I appreciate all of your support. Thank you guys for being here and for sticking around with me, for watching me make my life better and get sober and everything. And for you guys to still be here, it really means the world. So truly, thank you for everything. You guys are fucking amazing. You've really inspired me to live a better life. And I hope that I've inspired those of you that might struggle to do the same thing through my own experience and my own story. Just Trey certainly does that for all of us as well. This kid's the real deal. He's going places, man, for real. He deserves it. You deserve it, man, <laughs> for real. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you all are safe during the hurricane going through Florida and everything. Any of you that might be down there, stay safe. I love you guys. I'm Vacasa Coffee. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.